Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today we are going to be starting some new seeds in our milk jugs. If you caught my last video last fall, mom and I started foxgloves, lupins, um, some snapdragons, some asters, and some poppies in our little milk jugs. And if you've never seen milk jugs sewing before, come here, Shin. <laughs> it is a great way to sow seeds outdoors where you don't need grow lights, you don't need to monitor them every day. They grow fairly easily on their own. Now, typically in our climate, we're a zone 8B, it's very warm. We are 20 minutes from the Florida border, which means we really rarely frost, let alone freeze. And if you don't get any freezes, you get light, light frost and you come out and cover them, we can usually start our seeds in the fall and give them a whole growing season over the winter to get big and strong before we plant them in the spring. Now, unfortunately this year, we had the heat wave in the summer and we had a huge freeze for three days where things got down to five, six degrees um, at night, 19 degrees in the day, which means it stayed under 30 for at least three days. That is so unusual down here that I, I can't even remember a time in the 10 years I've lived here or the 20, 30 years my family's lived here that that's really happened. So unfortunately, I'm gonna take a look, I'll show you guys, but I'm pretty sure none of the foxgloves made it. Some of the lupins made it, but they look a little stressed, so we might start some more of those. Um, but the lupins grow really fast. In fact, about six of the milk jugs grew so fast. I'll try to put some images of the screen that I took earlier in the season. Um, that I planted a full six milk jugs out at my yard and mom's yard well before the freeze. And some of those in the garden, they're not as good as before the freeze, but I do think they survived. We'll find out. Again, lupins, I have so many seeds. If I need to start more, we'll start more. But the main thing we want to start today is foxgloves. So if you don't live in an area like we do where you can overwinter things truly from fall to winter to spring, that's okay. Your main goal is that you need to start your seeds eight weeks before your last frost so that by the time your frost is over and you can plant things out in the garden, they have had enough time to come into their own. So right now it is January 15th, which is eight weeks before our last frost here in Southern Alabama. And we're going to go ahead and start some fox slip seeds because that is the main thing mom and I want this year. If we run um, through those quick enough, I also have zinnias and some cosmos and some um, salvia. What else do we have, Should Watermelon, yep, we have some watermelon. Um, <laughs> and I'm trying to remember, cone flowers. You're so smart. And cone flower seeds, at the very least. We also have some nocrina seeds. Some of these are seeds that we have collected from my own garden last year, and some of them are seeds we've ordered from places like Johnny's Seeds. This is not sponsored, FYI, I'm not that cool. I just obviously follow Laura from Gardening Answer. Garden Answer, we, we don't say it right sometimes. And she likes Johnny's seeds, so we have started to like them as well, because that's how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. My mom is on her way. I asked her to stop and pick up some more um, soil because we're running low. We're going to reuse all of the jugs that don't have live plants in them, since none of those plants lived past itty bitty baby plants the soil is not depleted so we might as well reuse it um, and then I have another two bags of empty milk jugs if we need them and that's where the new soil will go and if we don't need the new milk jugs I have my four brand new raised garden beds I'm hoping to fill at least one of those I will link below but um, I did a whole video recently on garden souvenirs that mom and I brought back from our month-long trip to Europe and one of the things that I got there was several packets of seeds 
from Givernay from Monet's Garden, and I'm really excited to grow them, but several of them say they do best when direct sown. So I'd like to fill at least one or two of the raised beds specifically for those seeds. So I will link to the video below where I showed all the souvenirs we brought back. And then when eventually I do, tractor went by. Eventually when I do sow those seeds from Giverne, I will do a whole video on that as well. I'll probably do a whole video on um, filling the raised beds as well because I'm not filling them straight with soil. That's way too expensive. We're going to do it as inexpensively as possible. So it is January here, but it is the beginning of garden season for those of us with a warm weather. So let's get started. Ready, Shug? Yep, she's ready. Let's go. Okay, so here are all the milk jugs we did uh, last fall. And some of them, like you can see the lupins, they are still growing. You can still see they're not as good as they were before the frost. We'll see how they do. And we can always plant some more of those in the next week or so. But all of our pretty foxgloves, you see down in this corner by the left, right there, all the foxgloves that were, that were growing are are gone the frost got them so we're going to be replanting all of the foxgloves today um snapdragons are still bitty babies hopefully they'll grow and then i don't know when i need to plant this guy i'm thinking soon but the poppies this one poppy this one died 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 but i have one excellent poppy so we'll plant him soon 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 same with the asters i think yep that freeze just got everything we have never had such a bad freeze in this area in the 10 20 years my family's lived here i've only been here six so we're gonna go ahead and redo all the foxgloves and uh, then we'll see about the rest. Not 100% sure how long we're gonna be doing this today. Right, so we got through all the foxgloves. I did want to show you real quick that we found one, one amazing foxglove that survived the frost. So I just kind of held up around him. But like in the original video, if you want step-by-step -step instructions, I will link that below and go watch it. But you can see we tilled up the old dirt. We placed five seeds in, in the corners and in the middle. And then mom went ahead and duct taped them all. We will move them back to their spots and I will use my water sprayer. You want to spray them with a fine mist. You don't necessarily want to use a hose or something too harsh. So we'll move them back, spray them all, and then we will be done for the day. I'm going to be sowing some milkweed seeds in this manner. I found zinnias, I found the coneflowers, um, and gumfrina. So I will do a whole just summer seed video but I need more duct tape and I need more dirt. So we'll do that a different day. Today turns out just to be an update on the seeds and how they've done after the freeze and a replanting of the box gloves. So I hope you liked this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.
All right. One successful poppy plant. It looks like there are three stalks. And while I could separate them, they're really close together. So we're just gonna leave them. Hopefully we'll get at least one poppy bloom. If not, oh well, at least we got a plant. I um, broadcasted a bunch of these last season and none of them grew. So I'm happy to have a plant. All right, now I will really see you in the next video. I just needed to get this guy in the ground. Bye y'all.